Yo, what's happening guys? I'm Dan and I'm back with another craft brew review. Thank you for joining me today. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button. We don't have to. Thanks for clicking on this video anyways, guys. Uh, today we are working with the Perfect Disguise. This is a double IPA from Dogfish Head, guys. So we all know Dogfish Head. They do a lot of beers uh, and very, very well. They're kind of that West Coast malty vibe. 60 minute, the 90 minute. Um, that's what they're most notoriously known for. Uh, this, however, was bottled on 1320. I've had this in my arsenal for probably about a month, so I could have reviewed it literally a month ago. But again, I've been on the drinking less beer train as of late, guys. Trying to prepare for the wedding, so I'm just going to dive right in, see what we're working with. Um, I did cap it, but let's, you know what, now we have the capability to look at our phone, kind of bring a little bit more info to the video, guys. So this bad boy is 8%, it's 70 IBUs. We have, da 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 da, a lot of jibber jabber, but underneath it we have hiding deeper behind the German disguise is the double dry hopping of an American double IPA with nearly four pounds of German and American hops per barrel. It brings tropical flavors. Uh, citrus, tan tangerine, mango, gooseberries, and peach. So let's see, guys, that's pretty specific, but let's see what I'm getting out of this one. It feels really good to be back. Let me tell you guys that. So again, at the label, hopefully I can get a focus. It doesn't look like it focuses that well on this camera. Um, but, yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting some juicy tropical notes for sure out of this, right out of the gate, guys. But let's jump to the uh, appearance real quick. Again, on this camera, it looks very burnt orange, but it's not. It's more of a golden honey, uh, yellow dash of amber in it, guys. There's a nice uh, soapy head with about a finger, or pinky finger's worth. Looks pretty creamy, looks very carbonated, and it's got a little bit of opaqueness, guys. It's dirty haze for sure. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not clear, so. Let's go to the aroma. Nice bready malty uh, uh, front on this, guys. Like a wafery kind of cracker with a little bit of like uh, uh, honey jelly on there, if you will, to be really specific. I do get like some peach vibes out of this. A little bit of citrus, it's not really jumping through, but I would say there's a little bit of tropical fruits on this uh, uh, beer right now. Honestly, it's a little muted, to be honest. I don't know if it's too cold or what, but it's actually a little bit muted. It smells like it was double dry hot, but I'm getting like a, a caramely kind of honey, bready vibe to this. Dash of citrus, a little bit of uh, uh, peach, and maybe some uh, tropical fruit, guys. So she looks nice. Let's go for a cheers, guys. This is dogfish head. Perfect disguise. Nice body to it. Um, it's a medium mouthfeel. It's definitely got like chewy tropical fruit notes. I mean, it's, it's viscous, it's thick, it's dense. Um, 8%, it goes down really easy, but you're getting like a dash of pine, definitely a bready, malty, um, front to this beer, but it transitions into like a citrus sweetness, kind of generic citrus. I would say peaches are fair to say in this. It is, it is... Uh, a peach juice kind of vibe, a little bit of peach skin. Dried mangoes on the back end, maybe a little bit um, of pineapple intertwined in there as well, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice beer. I mean, it's got a little bit of malt in there. It's not overly malty, though. It, it does uh, get into the fruits of this beer. It does not just become a malt bomb at, at 8%. Sometimes those aren't done as well. With a higher ABV, I consider 8 kind of a higher ABV now. Um, that's right in the in the right wheelhouse of, of a double IPA for sure. It's on the lower tier of it. But it's appropriate, guys. So there is like this generic citrus, a little bit of peach juice in there. I would say dried mangoes, maybe a little bit of cut up pineapple in there. Um, hint of pine, a little bit of honey sweetness, caramely doughiness to wheel it and ring it all together, guys. Quite smooth, uh, not too bitter on the back end. Really enjoyable beer. I'd say it gets the job done for sure, guys. Another well-executed beer from um, Dogfish Head. So no surprise there for me. I would say that this is about a 3.9 out of 5, um, but now that I have the capabilities to do this, Let's go check what they have on Untapped real fast, guys. So, 
Um, I have a friend who said it was a 3.5 out of 5. And I was, I don't know guys, I didn't look. <clears throat> Maybe I did see it in my subconscious because I don't remember looking. I had it down on purpose to the description of it, but it was a 3.89 out of five. So um, I'm pretty close to where this is. Obviously, it's very, very spot on. So for me, I agree with that. That's where I'm sitting, guys. I have no real complaints. It's just a nice, well beer, a well executed beer from Dogfish Head. So again, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you're enjoying the new camera. Getting used to that still. Um, but as of right now, I'm Dan. I'm over and out, and you know the rest, guys. I will see you on the next one. Cheers!